Now the Last Poppy Has Fallen is a project which focuses on people who lived in Essex during the First World War, really telling the stories of those people and how they lived and how the war affected them. The name Now the Last Poppy Has Fallen was really a reflection by Tony Morrison, the other project manager, of the passing of Harry Patch in 2009 who was the last First World War combatant to pass away. And we felt that we needed to reflect the fact that um, all of these soldiers have now gone and we've lost that link with the past. So it's good to remember this 1914-1918 centenary of the First World War. We wanted it to be a creative project, so we asked Georgia Strand, a songwriter, to create new songs for the project, reflecting those stories, and she worked with Vaux Fletcher and Rick Sanders. We also asked Luke Wright, um, an Essex poet, to create some new poems for the project as well, to reflect the stories that we uncovered during the project. In Chelmsford they can talk of nothing else. The news agents are desperate for vendors. The tittle tattles milled right through the night until on Tuesday everybody knows. Part of the project was to recruit volunteers who researched stories of people who lived in Essex during the First World War and we put together a touring exhibition using that information. It's good. It's interesting. Very, very good. Interesting. Yes. We're too young to remember it. <laughs> we decided to hold an event to conclude the project, a real showcase of all the work that had been created during the project. So we asked Luke to come and perform his poems and Georgia Strand and Vo and Rick to come and perform the songs. We'd also, as part of the project, created an inter-school poetry competition and the top ten winners of the competition came to the Civic Theatre that evening and performed their poetry as well. So we included Dance in the Evening, provided by Dance Network Association. And we had dancers from Boswell's School, a boys project. We had Flux Dance Collective, DNA Performing Arts College, and we also had Regeneration, which was a sheltered housing project. Way. It's coming up 40 wageless days. I was really, really happy to see what they'd created using the stories and the music and the poems as inspiration for their dances. The boys from Boswell School in particular really inspired and excited me because they had used the music as their inspiration and had used the music during the evening to perform too. And I just feel that that really connected with the audience and that the, the boys were were really inspirational with their dance. Three sons is all I got, don't send them after The sheltered housing project, there was a, a lovely lady called Frances who came and she'd actually written a poem to go with the dance. So she introduced her poem uh, before the dance and that was a, a great success as well. The audience was made up of a lot of people who were actually involved in the project itself, including some of the older people who actually presented their dance through a film on the night. But there were also a lot of school children there on the, on the evening as well, um, with their teachers and with their parents, and obviously the families were supporting uh, the children who had performed their poetry on the night too. The night's been really enjoyable, uh, it's been the opportunity to watch lots of different um, activities taking place, the poetry's been brilliant and the learners have really enjoyed the evening. The youngsters who were brave enough to actually get up on stage and, and perform their poetry on the night, I just thought were so brave, especially because one of the youngest of our competition winners was up on the stage that night um, and that was Bethany and she was in year three so I thought that she was just so brave that all of the poems were of really great quality and so it was good to be able to have a mixture of some of the pupils performing on the night and some of them were filmed as well and that just broke the evening up and gave um, quite a, a different 
atmosphere and a different feel for the different poems. I think the highlight of the evening was right at the very end when the band were performing um, uh, Poppies in the Rain and there's an element of audience interaction and I wasn't sure whether our audience were going to interact but um, as the band came towards the end of the song I could hear the audience singing the refrain and I could, so I knew that there was a connection going on and I could hear that happening and that was really encouraging and just a lovely part of the evening. We had some really supportive speeches from Karen Brookfield, who's from Heritage Lottery Fund, and our own councillor, John Spence, um, from Essex County Council. And it was just great to include some important people who have perhaps not been directly involved in the project, but have seen the project evolve. It was great to have their perspective on the project. Tony Morrison and I have been so proud of all the work that's gone into this project including the music, the poetry and the dance, not just from Luke and Georgia who are professional uh, artists but actually from pupils who got involved in the project as well and volunteers, volunteer researchers who perhaps had never um, researched before but got involved in the project to present the lovely uh, touring exhibition that they showed on the night too.